All right, no old business. Moving on to new business. Item 11A, discussion approval of a 3-1 form regarding the burn building at Southwestern Community College. Uh, Dr. Thomas and Curtis Dowdle, welcome, gentlemen. Who's up? <laughs> Good back, Jamie. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, thank you for the opportunity to come before you again this evening. Um, we've met a couple different times in the past in the history of um, discussion of a new burn building, fire science training facility for Southwestern Community College, more importantly, public safety and training, uh, Curtis and his program. Um, quick rendition, several years ago, five or six years ago, we have uh, both the county and the college had the building reviewed and it was basically told to us at that point we needed to do a two-year phase-out plan and we're now five years into this project and we're trying to figure out just exactly um, where the burn building may go or would work and uh, Mr. Shields, Commissioner Shields and Mr. Rowland uh, met with myself and Curtis and William Brothers um, couple times over the last uh, six to eight weeks and at this point in time we have landed on a piece of property owned by the college that is uh, adjacent to public safety and training that is across from the UPS uh, facility. Um, in order to move this project <coughs> along at this point in time we have to update what we consider the 3-1 which is the state appropriations that you have in your packet what we have presented to you and, and presented to Ms. Rowland was the original amount allocated from the 1.4 million bond money and what the county had uh, originally um, allocated or set aside of like 1.312 in, in the 3-1. Uh, and so um, the only thing changes from our perspective at this point in time would be the location of where the building, the burn building center would actually be. Therefore, that creates the opportunity for us to uh, kick in a new 3-1 um, on that. We have major needs, as we've expressed in the past, uh, with the expansion and growth of Curtis's program. And we're not unlike anyone else that has been uh, hit with the pandemic. Um, we need additional space because of the spread out of, or the need to spread out of our students. Um, we don't have that additional space at this particular point in time, Mr. Chairman. And I know that uh, Curtis has engaged in conversation with some other entities that would require us leasing space uh, should we need to, with, as, if the pandemic continues to carry on as it has thus far. So that's just additional information. We, we just request uh, consideration of the 3-1 of the new location uh, and with the funding remaining the same so we're, there, we're able to carry out the project as originally talked about, I guess, almost three years ago because the state agreed to it in March of 18. Okay. Um, just help me refresh my memory on this, Dr. Thomas. Uh, the county was, we'd agreed to give one point three one roughly one yep. point three plus Correct. in this and then uh, I think you had some coming from bond funds of this it was one point four one point four million um, as you know uh, uh, the county has now come in possession of the armory uh, uh, which adjoins uh, your facilities it, it, would it be possible if we struck a deal if, if the county uh, provides you a long-term lease a very long-term lease of that building and makes the upgrades to that building to make it happen that you can make the burn building happen i mean could we give you enough classroom space where it might knock the money that we're initially talking down to that 2.7 i think we you're at number so if you see what i'm saying if we mm -hmm. if we take care of that we give you the upgrades we give you the facilities there you need to house your foul trucks get the building up where you all have classroom space would y'all be able to handle the burn building on your own money or, or would you still need funds from us? I think we would. I know building costs have increased, but. I'm well, the burn building that. itself actually, uh, surprisingly, when we got an updated bid in February, I believe it was, it come down about $150,000. Uh, the building itself is about $1.275. Uh, 1.247. 
Yeah. I, I had that. Yeah. yeah one one point two two. Current quote is one point <laughs> two two five seven seven. About one point two two six. That's just. That's just the building. That's not the building. Anymore. That's correct. Okay. That's just the building itself. So we would still need funds to carry out the grading and excavation and get the infrastructure taken to the building. Sure. And so that cost is a cost unknown to me at this particular point in time, uh, depending on what that may be. So I think the answer to your question is there's a good possibility that it would not take the full point to $3 million, but it would take less than any money above and beyond that. The first money spent would be the bond money. So any money above and beyond that would be county money. Sure. And if we cover the project, then that could right. be still wrapped into renovation, repair, and fix up toward the armory. Right. Mr. Manager, can you? Yeah, I think, uh, you know, and if, uh, as Dr. Thomas said, you know, we have been discussing this project for quite some time now, and I know that uh, the college as well as the Board of Commissioners are eager to uh, to see this project move forward. I think we do got to keep we do have to keep in mind and in my reviewing these uh, the amended 3 one versus what was originally proposed to us uh, in 2018 um, as Dr. Thomas alluded to uh, the burn the cost of the burn building itself has went down and you I notice a, a decrease uh, you know that that is reflected 163,000 $950 decrease uh, in the construction cost in the amended 3-1 as opposed to the original 3-1. Um, also in those, uh, in these costs, uh, the estimated cost of the project from the original 3-1 to the amended 3-1, although that project cost, uh, the construction cost goes down by $164,000, there's been an increase in the design fee of $127,000 and an increase in the construction contingency amount of $37,000. And that just kind of struck me because uh, it, is a, it is a reduced project cost. And so as to why the design fees and, and contingency fees have, have both increased, but I think that highlights um, what we're uh, talking about when, we're, uh, when we look back at that original 3-1 that was submitted. Uh, it contemplated this project being constructed on Siler Road. Uh, and as you'll recall, uh, in estimates that that we had received uh, project cost estimates related to the Siler Road project, you know, there was grading cost in there of four hundred thousand um, dollars for the excavation of that site. Now the site that is referenced in this original three dash one uh, is very much different than than the Siler Road site in that it is pretty much flat as a fritter. So you know, I think that that more than anything um, as we are at this juncture, uh, we are looking at, although it is a new site, I think that new site and the, the site constraints, uh, which are different, uh, the, uh, you know, like we had uh, an estimate here of $50,000 to bring the utilities to the site. Um, is that different now at this new location? I don't know. Um, but I, I, I could say that the uh, you know, as far as the, the design fees go, is it the same? Uh, is it the same here as it was previously? And I think it just highlights the need that it, the project here, as it as it is proposed in this three one at the Jerry Sutton facility, the site itself it, it essentially, in my opinion, uh, creates a new project, and it creates a it creates not necessarily a hurdle, but an opportunity. Um, for us to continue working alongside Southwestern and, and, and nail down um, the project costs that are going to be specific to this site. And, and I think in doing that, uh, you know, we, we comprise a budget that's realistic and we have comprised a budget that's realistic of what it's going to take to construct what's needed at this site as opposed to the Silo Road site. So uh, as far as the bond goes, the NC Connect bond, Macon County is obligated to fund one dollar for every three dollars received in bond money so that puts Macon counties we're obligated at this new site since there's no longer a property donation to consider or, or anything of that nature on, on behalf of the county we have to we have to go i, I think and look at that four hundred sixty seven thousand dollars 
as the starting point. And as Dr. Thomas said, that they will spend the bond money first. The main obstacle here is the construction of the burn building, which, uh, you know, as Dr. Thomas alluded to, is now 1.2 million, uh, which is about 150, 200 thousand dollar decrease from what we were looking at in 2018. So I, I think at the end of the day, that at this time, bless you. Um, these, the, the, we need to circle, we need to circle the wagons here. And, and look at what is now uh, a different project in the way that the site constraints are completely different. Uh, construction costs are completely different than they were in 2018. I mean, it, you know, they, uh, whereas this was uh, the metal two bay in the classroom was quoted at $150 a square foot for a 2,500 square foot facility, um, is that $150 a square foot number still good in 2020? I don't know. So, so I think that, you know, more than anything, uh, this gives us the opportunity uh, to work together with Southwestern as we uh, as we start talking about this new location and, and develop a, a project scope and, and are comfortable with the, the cost of that project and how that cost relates to the county's allocation. Just for clarification, please. You said there was $169,000 reduction in the project cost. What, what my the building, what, I think, is that what you're I, referring to? Yes, I think that it could be the building, but now the total project, uh, the total estimated cost of the project, because I, you know, there was that 163 reduction in the construction, but there was an increase in design fee of 126,000, increase in the contingency of this project, 37,000. So that just kind of, you know, at, on, a, on, a, on a project that costs less, um, you know that just brought my attention to the design fees and contingency fees related to that project. What's what is the reasons for those those increases? And that that is conversations that I think, you know, like I say, brings us back to the point where uh, it's an excellent opportunity. It, it's a uh, in moving this project forward for us to to sit down with Southwestern, uh, look at take another take a look at what needs to be done, and and see if we can get some realistic cost estimates uh, in terms of what the county's contribution will be to this facility. So I'm, I'm just going to reiterate back to what I started this conversation out with. I know we can get drugged down in the mud with the numbers, etc. My thought process, looking at it from up here, 10000 not dragging into the details of how much each brick's going to cost is. I'm personally kind of tired, almost embarrassed. We've been dragging our feet so long with this project, I'm ready to get it done. And the way that I see it is if, if we can give them a 16,000 square foot building, uh, help them out with their burn building, um, give them a lease on it again. I think the county would like to keep the asset, uh, give them a long-term lease on it. I'm, I'm ready to go for that. Uh, I'm, I'm ready to, uh, uh, again, I'm just ready to get the ball rolling. That's my personal opinion. I know every commissioner up here will have a different one, but I'm, I'm ready to get it, uh, ready to get the ball rolling. Whatever steps we need to take to get that going, uh, and I see what we'll take them, so. I'd like to echo Chairman Tate's thought in that 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 facility um, is strategically located and positioned where, in my opinion, there's there's nobody that could benefit more from it than Southwestern. Um, there's there's a there's an area beside that building that. Uh, has been evaluated and deemed to be acceptable to put a fire train facility on. Um, if, if, if this board elects to, to do a 25 year lease and I pull that out of my hat versus uh, deeding it, then, then that's, that's, that's fine too. But I think uh, you know, we've, we've been working on this project uh, for several years. We've got a good fit there in that facility um, that will house the fire training facility uh, and it will give Southwestern the opportunity to, to move forward. Um, I, and I, think, I think it carries on with the work that was started before anybody was on this board and going back to Jerry Sutton and, and some of those folks that worked very hard to develop Southwestern Community College 
in Macon County. So I just I, I agree with, with Chairman Tate and, and I would like to see us, this board move forward with uh, the long term lease that, that Chairman Tate referred to. Uh, I think it's the right thing to do for the university. I think it's the right thing to do for the citizens of Macon County. Of course, I totally disagree. That's a $2.9 million asset to the people of Macon County that was a gift. Uh, if we give that to Southwestern for 25 years, we put another million that makes us responsible for everything they need to service that building. I don't know how much that would be a year. It looks like we have to put about $850,000 on renovations. So now we're at a $3 million project to put you, I thought we were talking about two different things. I thought we were talking about the fire training facility and then the National Guard Armory. I'm totally against a 25 year lease because the people of Macon County will need that building. We have a zero uh, for anything <laughs> we might need it for. And just to give away uh, initially a three million dollar building for 25 years, uh, you better put a lot of thought into that. That is the people of Macon County. And to give them a 25 year lease, I don't care who it is, Southwestern, I'm all for Curtis's classes, we could take money out of our general fund and add on to where Curtis's is now and save a lot of money and, and preserve for the Macon County citizens a building that we may need. We may need it for the health department in the future. Once you do a 25 year, it's gone forever. And that puts us responsible for it just as if it's ours. It, but it will not be. But we have to pay for everything. So uh, I, I don't agree with the, with the chairman and their lame duck commissioner that uh, we should have this conversation in two separate things. You got the fire training facility, which I always thought that that was number one. That was the first thing we always talked about. We've got a place to put it. I thought we were in agreement on that, but apparently not. But as far as I'm concerned, we're going to have to really sit down and crunch some numbers before we give away a $2.9 million uh, asset to the folks from Macon County that was given to them very unexpectedly, might I add, but it's a building that we've already used during COVID. It's a building that can be renovated to service a lot of county departments in the future. So I would think long and hard, uh, and I'd encourage my fellow board members to think long and hard before you uh, give a building away that you're going to have to still pay all the expenses for in the future. So, so here you're not going to have to pay all the expenses either way? Yes, but you can either benefit the citizens of Macon County or you can benefit how many students do you average? Well, you're way you're benefiting <clears throat> the citizens. A few thousand a year? Yeah, but from Macon County. I know if you don't know. I don't know exactly. Very few. Okay. From Macon County. Okay. The benefit okay. price, so. 330 plus. Yeah, about, well, you got 284, really. So, uh, so you compare that to the citizens of Macon County of what they can have to do. I'm just saying that that is a, we have something in our hand that we better be very, very careful with. And, uh, and the people of Macon County deserve us to look at this thing long and hard. And if that's the best way to go, uh, then we can make that decision. But we could build the fire building, the fire training facility, we can fix whatever Curtis might need for classrooms on the same site, in my opinion, and put the money into that and still save a lot of money. Am I right or wrong, County Man? Well, I, you know, th and that goes back to what, to what I was saying is, is this original project as proposed, regardless of if it is located at the Jerry Sutton facility, the costs that are going to be incurred, both capital when we're constructing it and operational, are going to be completely different than if we had constructed it on Silo Road. Same thing with the armory. Now you have to keep in mind the origi this project originally started and still is a burn building which we, we have a fix we have that's a fixed amount of the purchase of the building at least for 1.25 million. 
So we know that amount. And at the time, this metal two bay was going to be 2,500 square feet with the classroom space. So we have a burn building and a, and a 2,500 square foot addition uh, classroom space and storage facility. So if we go to the Jerry Sutton site, we're looking at adding on to a building. If we go to the Armory site, we still have that same $1.25 million burn building, but now the uh, the total space that would be that SEC public safety uh, training program, uh, if, if we do the long-term lease on this National Guard Armory, they're going from 13,760 square feet on 6.3 acres to 29,760 square feet on 12 acres. So they're doubling both the current classroom space as well as the, the land space to, to train and do uh, you know whatever they need to do on outside there. So, so in saying that, as Commissioner Bill alluded to, this 2.9 million dollar building, you know, I think it then becomes us having the conversation of what is uh, can that 25 year lease be counted as this 467 thousand dollar match that we're required to to give? Can is that an option? It, is it an option uh, because at the end of the day. This, with the National Guard Armory, this has became a, I mean, from, from the request of 2,500 square feet to, for additional classroom space in a bay, to now doubling the square footage at, at nearly 30,000 square feet. You have things like, if the Armory's there, uh, if the Armory's in the picture, the fencing at the original project, which was in this 1.3 million, that was 32,000. Again, you're gonna have no grading cost. And, uh, you know, so I would almost say at that point, is that classroom facility and two bay uh, garage that was once part of this project, is it even required now? Um, you have an armory with a bay door that, that it's capable of backing semi trucks into. So, you know, it has a, I know there's a, there's a, a building out there that, uh, that is a, a tall pole, uh, pole building structure with a roof on it. Um, could that be used to back the fire trucks on under it might not be perfect but you know many times when uh, especially when you're looking at a 2500 square foot facility versus a 16,000 square foot facility that that would be donated you can't let the perfect outweigh the good so it, it comes back down to I think the first thing we need to do is, is the board it needs to settle on a location uh, and, and approve that location and then from there we can then um, authorize myself to work with uh, Don Thomas and, and Curtis, no matter where that location is, to, to develop a cost of this project that is agreeable to Southwestern and agreeable to the county that represents this, what is now gonna be a new project at a new day and time with a lot of, uh, a lot of things that were not present at the other side uh, and a lot of things that might still be present from the other side but it all comes back to this is a you know while it is you know on a new site uh, that new site wherever it is makes this a completely new project that, that's going to require completely new numbers now are the operational costs um, associated with the National Guard Armory um, <coughs> our operation uh, operational contribution to Southwestern Community College certainly they're going to be more at that building at 16,000 square feet than they are a 2,500 square foot classroom and metal two bay garage. Uh, you know, if the if the the space occupied goes from 13,000 to 15,000, that's not going to be as as uh, much of an operational increase as if that goes from 13,000 to 30,000. So all those things are are, are I think it conversations that. That need to be had in consideration needs to be given to each of those um, just as you gentlemen are doing right now so uh, long story short wherever the location that is settled on uh, in other words right now the amended 3-1 um, at the Jerry Sutton building if, 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 the, if that was the location that's chosen I would recommend uh, postponing the middle of the 3-1 and allowing us to sit down and work with Southwestern Community College and, and get a clear picture uh, in terms of the hard costs that are going to be associated with this project. And the same 
the same thing needs to be done if if the uh, National Guard armor is chosen, or if there needs to be more work done and, and us drill down into these operational costs, um, what it would cost to upfit the National Guard armory. Uh, I know right now that uh, it's going to have to have a new roof and it's going to have to have an HVAC uh, system put in it. So I know right now those are two uh, substantial improvements that the county is going to have to make regard to that building, regardless of who gets it. But nonetheless, if the direction from this board uh, is to compare these two sites, or if there is a clear uh, decision made on which side is to be selected, um, I think we need to, Macon County needs to be involved in the process of developing this 3-1, and we need to be comfortable uh, with the costs that are going to be passed down to the county, both capital and operation. Dr. Thomas, does that National Guard Army facility enhance SCC's curriculum or? Yes, and can I, and I'll make this comment. We've religiously each year done capital improvement plans requested by the county. That's always been our master plan, which with a 30,000 square foot building that would have been uh, located supposedly on uh, Siler Road, okay? So, and, and you had burn building on the other side of where that building would have been. So, in essence, Curtis's uh, program and expansion of what his needs are and the college's needs were, was a 30,000 square foot building. It would have been brand new over on Siler Road, which would have been a cost to the county at, you know, 30,000 times whatever construction costs are at that time. Um, you know, where the armory came in to be uh, really, you know, uh, comparable is because we do have right at 15,000, 14,000, 15,000 square feet where Curtis is at right now. The armory is about 16,000, so that gives you the 30,000, which offsets the need to build a brand new building at a much more affordable cost to the county at that point in time, uh, which meets Curtis's program expansion needs and the growth that he's experiencing. And so that's the way, you know, when that first came up, it, it was that win-win opportunity because there would never, we could take that off the capital improvement plan that we submit each, each year also, because there wouldn't be a need to do that. Plus, as mentioned, it's right there at the campus at this point in time, so it just makes it an ideal type location in it. And it meets Curtis's goals and, and needs for expansion. And you've got a burn building right below it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. We do. That's true. There is a good site there for a burn building. It has been identified on that piece of property uh, on the armory also, a site location for a burn building there. So would it make sense, Mr. Manager, to for you to appoint somebody like Jack Morgan, who's very familiar with bidding processes, to get... I just think that it would be a wise thing to get how much it's going to cost. Because we know the armory is going to cost a million dollars in renovation. <coughs> Plus you're losing a $2.9 million asset. You're not losing it, but the vast majority of the main citizens are for the, for the future. Mr. Chairman, I think that Mr. Manager has brought up some valid points and, and he's more importantly, he's demonstrated um, that bringing the National Guard Army into Southwestern uh, purview is is following along with the master plan that, that Southwestern has come up with, and and I, I very much respect Chairman or Commissioner Bill and and, and his opinion on a lot of things. Um, but I think in this case um, that there, there's, there, in my opinion, there's an obvious choice to make. And, and with that in mind, Mr. Chairman, I'd make a motion that, that Macon County authorizes county manager and county attorney to enter into negotiations with Southwestern Community College to develop a 25-year lease on the National Guard Armory property for the purpose of expanding uh, their offerings as well as construction of fire training, fire training facility. 
a second motion. We have a motion and a second discussion. Commissioner Shields. I got lost somewhere. <laughs> when we had our meeting the last time, and I believe in our executive committee meeting here, we had the burn building, the two bays, the classroom, and I believe there was another uh, storage. Storage. I thought we had all that nailed down. And then we're going to move forward. I think what I got stuck on, on the space needs analysis project summary, I thought it we were going to go back and look at these 26 items and see how the uh, armory could accommodate or not accommodate these things here. And so I guess, and you know, I went out of the army business and I, I just want to focus on that because I felt like these these 26 items here are going to be need to be discussed in our mid-year discussion to see what are you going to do you know are, are you are you going to use the, is the county going to use the armory to accommodate some of these things here or not I, I guess I I just marked the armory hall for discussion until we went through the mid-year discussion on these uh, 26 items here. And the National Guard Armory is one of the 26 items on this. But go back to what, uh, at our last meeting in here, I, th I thought we kind of ready to go for the barn building, the two bay, one classroom, and the uh, storage. Storage. I thought that was, uh, but I do understand that there's on the Sala Road that geographical area is different than where we're at on the on the college campus, and so I I don't have a problem with going back and looking at the college campus and saying okay uh, three point one or whatever it is let's look at that. But I feel uncomfortable of going into and taking the National Guard Armory, and we've talked a little bit for a, tw for a lease for that long, without going through this 26 items and seeing if you can if you're going to spend a million dollars on the uh, renovating uh, the National Guard Armory, you may need to be incorporating some of these in the National Guard Armory. Or hey, when we get through this thing and looking at this. Then, uh, if it's there, then you, you need to. You have, we'll have to make a decision on deeding it, or we'll have to make a decision on uh, uh, leasing it. But we, we've got 26 buildings out here, or groups of buildings. Of what are you going to do if you if you give them away, or if you give this army away? If you obligate it, so, so not that it's not good. But I just think our discussion. Our last discussion, I believe, was that before I had a county commissioner meeting that evening, we, we were locked in on the burn building, the two bay, and one classroom, and one storage. Right or wrong? I mean, that was just locked in. That was, part, that was the discussion that yeah. we had with you and Mr. Rowland. Yeah, to I, move forward. I think on, Mr. Brothers at that time. Yeah, to move forward on this piece here and get it done. And that the armory would be viewed again after we did our mid year working with their uh, space needs analysis. There's 26 items here. And I thought that's where we were. And I think when we discussed it the last time in our, we had the meeting that evening, that we came here and had a uh, meeting here. Uh, I, uh, I thought we was moving forward on this component of the, uh, the barn building, the two bays, one classroom, and the, the storage unit. And, and all the, in my mind, it stayed just in that arena because I thought we were going to review this here after we looked at uh, see what could, if, if the Army could accommodate some of these areas here. And I think we looked at the liability. If we do the liability part or the maintenance part, if you're in the, if we lease it to you, we got both of those, right? We got liability and maintenance. You'll have maintenance. I think we'll have the liability issue on it because uh, we'll have to have if, state. If we give it yeah. to you, 
I believe we're on the end. Lot. Uh, we just we're just in one of them, the liability to the maintenance. The uh, maintenance is, is supposed to, yeah, because it's it goes goes back to 115 uh, D 30, where the county is responsible for right. the maintenance and operations of those facilities. Um, whether we own them as an institution and the state owns them or we lease them, uh, the county would still be uh, have the responsibility of, of maintaining. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to suggest that you have the ability to do this to table this motion that to at least give the county attorney an opportunity to do what he outlined to do. Uh, if you remember what he said, uh, that he would like to have the opportunity to look a little deeper into all the numbers that it's really going to cost the county and he may come back with that the, the National Guard Army is the ideal place. Uh, I don't know that. But I think we should give our county manager the opportunity to do that, working with SCC, working with our building department, uh, working with our, with our folks. I think that that would be just the right thing to do. We're, we shouldn't get in no hurry now. We've not been in no hurry in a long, long time. So there's no hurry now, and I agree with Mr. Shields, that is exactly what we talked about. And uh, to enter into this thing, uh, you know, we will have a new commissioner set where Mr. Gillespie is. He needs to be brought up to speed. And to enter into an agreement like this without even pursuing what the county manager, uh, however it goes, should be given the opportunity to pursue these different options. That's my opinion, Mr. Chairman. All right. Right. I uh, uh, maybe I'm biased because I'm a Southwestern graduate. Uh, maybe I'm biased because uh, when I worked for the county for 15 years, I saw exactly how many of our county employees were graduates of Southwestern Community College. Um, so I, I've been thinking about this for months on end. Um, as we since we've learned we got the armory in it. To me, it makes no other sense for the county to have anything out there uh, at this point other than Southwestern. I think Southwestern Community College is a tremendous, tremendous asset to making the county. And I would love to see it expand. I'd love to see it expand beyond the services that they offer now. We've talked about trade schools. We've talked about uh, a lot of different things. So uh, I'm, I'm for moving forward with this. And again, as I mentioned earlier, I just, uh, gosh, it's like every time we look for another excuse, I'm ready to stop dragging the excuses out. Let's just get the ball rolling, so I'm, I'm ready. Does that, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm asking y'all, is that, is South, I mean, is that building if we go forward with this? Well, is the, it, the one does that meet or is that, are we, are we, I mean, I would like an honest answer. It, it is, I mean, when you're talking about military two tenth that was out there, the uh, equipment that they had, the spaces that they utilized are things that public safety <coughs> mirrors and that we utilize those same spaces so renovation within is very minimal we can use office space other you know sprucing up some paint and stuff like that but when you're talking about a, a gun safe storage out there because of the equipment that we're mandated to have to offer the different programs that we can move in and, and with you know little effort repair it and start training public safety professionals tomorrow uh, utilizing the space. Uh, the Armory, we had a partnership with them before they left the National Guard to where we would go over and use the gymnasium and they didn't have equipment in it for, for different things and use the surrounding properties for different scenarios that we had. Um, my team at Public Safety Training is excited about the possibilities and, and what they can do and the growth we have. Uh, the potential for doing out there as well. Three million bucks, they ought to be excited. Well, we, we are, we're, and we're grateful as well. For three and, million and, bucks, they ought to be tickled to them. And we are, and, and I'm sure doing the part for you. I'm sure the public safety uh, professionals that serve in Macon County and our, our area would be grateful as well. I know each of us have had the opportunity of well, about doing away with it. We're talking about Adam mm -hmm. is giving you thirty thousand feet to where you're at now. I'm right. answering the question that can we use it? Absolutely. Thank you, Gary. Thank you. Any further comments, questions, Mr. Manager? Mr. Chairman, if I could, yes, I um, just I, I think this does. If the board 
moves forward with the, the motion in the second that's been on the table, and this is the location that, that is chosen. I think we need uh, a couple things uh, we need to think about. Uh, a couple questions that, that need to be answered is, does this $2.9 million asset that we're going to be leasing, uh, long-term lease, does that fulfill our $467,000 match requirement uh, required by the NC Connect line? That's one thing I'd like to know. And if so, um, if that fulfills our matching requirement, we've uh, been provided the information uh, that indicates uh, you know, we, that they can spend $1.4 million in bond money. They can spend that money first. Uh, the latest quote we have on that burn building structure, which is what this money would go to fund, is $1.25 million. So with, with that being said, at this point, the donation of, or, or the, the lease of that facility to Southwestern, should that satisfy that requirement, I then think we, we revise the 3-1 to reflect that, that and that alone. And as far as uh, if we lease it, the county is still going to be the owner of that facility. So then I think we're at a point where um, the county uh, can can do any construction, any any capital improvements. Uh, the county can oversee and conduct any capital improvements or renovations that need to be made to the National Guard Armory. Um, and again, while that one point. Um, Three million has been appropriated from fund balance. That that appropriation sitting there, and with it no longer being required for the match, um, I would say that those funds could then be used to make what we deem to be the improvements that are needed and necessary to get this building uh, to get the National Guard Armory functioning. So that that would be. That's what I was saying. And you would oversee the county would oversee the county would oversee the renovation of the armory as we own the building if, if this is the if, if this is the direction that the board right. chief has got I, I guess my question still is uh, when the Mosley did the space needs analysis that gentleman was standing right there he said y'all need to go back and review uh, these 26 areas here to see what space you need and what space you don't need we haven't done that yet. And I was assuming we were going to do it uh, January when you look at everything else like that. And I think that's what I've, I've said before. Uh, Curtis needs this building. I'll tell you right up front, he needs it. I've been out there with him, we've looked at it, but I feel like there's a commitment here to our taxpayers that we should look at these 26 items to see what we're, what we're going to do with these items and if they don't fit in the armory then I, I think you've got a I think you've got a case uh, uh, to run about it do what you're going to do but I don't know what to do with these items here that uh, they marked and said look you're going to have to make a decision about these and so and if, if that leaves us if that facility leaves us you say well we could we could put these in here well you know, that horse is out of the barn. Uh, but we, we haven't had that discussion yet. I think the pandemic may have taken that away from us last year. But but it's still there. Yeah, I think you, you bring up a really good point in mm -hmm. that, um, that that building, you could you could go through and, and certainly with the county manager's help, cherry pick that list and place several different groups in that building but that still doesn't change the fact that that building is strategically located right around southwestern community college it falls within the square footage of the master plan of southwestern community college uh, and, and it's a perfect it's a perfect fit so i think at some point uh, and I'm not in favor of going back and going, rehashing that at this point to make this decision, but at some point um, there's going to have to this board, minus me, is going to have to make some decisions about that, about where stuff's going to go and, and place it. But but for the purpose of this discussion, I think I think that the, the, the motion uh, that I've made is the right thing to do for the citizens of Macon County and for Southwestern Community College because it provides them a facility that is located within their basically existing footprint and it gives them the square foot 
footage that is called for in their master plan. So uh, I just go back to my original motion. And it's not two or three years to build. Uh, and and we, can, to go. We, can, we can move move on. What's that worth? So. Any further comments? I'll just reiterate for the record that uh, in my opinion that we should give the county manager an opportunity because this is new information he brought tonight. And we should give him an opportunity to look at that and uh, put it on our January schedule when we see where the money is. Uh, it's just too big of a decision. I mean, that's not what we discussed at all. So, but uh, if you got the votes, go for it. <laughs> I'd choke up too, Paul. That's a non COVID cough. All in favor, seeing Papa saying aye. 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 Opposed? No. Opposed. All right. You got that, Mike? Will yes. You name them out? Yes. You got it. All right. Thanks, gentlemen. And we would. Thank you, Dr. Cole. Thank you. Would very much. Ask that that would be. Uh, and congratulations. The minutes reflect all conversation. Because we will be looking at it again.